This is Anavar, an extremely potent pre-workout steroid. Wait a minute, that's not Anavar. That's a Smarty. This is Anavar. Today, I'm going to be taking it before hitting the weights. And I know exactly what's going to happen. Unfortunately though, most guys that take it miss the mark for optimal results. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I use Anavar for legendary workouts strategically and safely. To experience the real power of Anavar, I need to aggressively spike serum concentrations. So 30 minutes before a workout, I like to crush it up and place it neatly under my tongue. I let it sit there for about 10 minutes until it's all absorbed. Then I'll wash it down with some pre-workout on the rocks. I also like to add some carbs to the mix. This is going to help me get jacked faster. Then I'll sit on the balcony and review the savage workout that's going to take place and perhaps dream about how in a single session I can put 10 pounds of muscle on the delts. Pharmacokinetics relates to how the body interacts with an administered substance like Anavar for the duration of the exposure. And if we want to go full beast mode in the gym, the idea is to get this stuff into the blood without having to deal with first pass metabolism. This is what happens when we take Anavar orally. Now look what happens to Anavar's levels upon sublingual administration. It is literally like IVing the compound into a vein. Now that disproportionate spike in metabolites versus just taking it orally is ideal for going big in a training session. And we will see in my workout coming up how I experience instantaneous changes in aggression, a surge of motor unit recruitment, my IGF-1 levels elevate, which all contributes to accelerated progress overall. So now you've seen my routine and the science behind it, I think it's time to channel that inner hulk down the gym. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. The safe cycle police are in the area. Abort mission. Because it's all good being jacked. But we need to keep this safe. Don't we, lads? So look, before you see me achieve god mode in the gym, let's talk about harm reduction and sensible dosing. Even though Oxandrolone, and that's the brand name, appears to not exhibit the serious hepatoxic effects attributed to 17-alpha alkylated anabolic steroids like d or Anadrol, don't be thinking you can just pull the trigger, pop some Anavar, and it's some side effect free magic potion. Because there's hormonal imbalances that can come from taking Anavar at the wrong time. But if you want to avoid all those potential side effects, it's very easy. You just have to tap the like button. All jokes aside, most of the problems come from not doing blood work beforehand or regular when you're taking the stuff. Because randomly throwing in Thor's Thunder Pills can very quickly throw off your entire hormone balance. SHBG is crushed. You're going to have faulty equipment in the bedroom then. But then also you're going to have a high amount of free test circulating in your brain, putting you in a beta brainwave state. You're just going to be wired all the time and you may need to drop your testosterone levels. But on the other hand, if someone doesn't have enough estrogen receptor activation or they're just not aromatizing enough and they decide to roll out the Anavar, they can crash their own estrogen levels. But it's all good. Dr. James has your back. I've done a high estrogen video for you and a low estrogen video for you. Both worth a watch because keeping estrogen sweet on cycle is what we got to do. Cardiovascular strain can be a big problem when we're doing out of our pre-workout. It's like revving up your car. If the engine's ready, it's all fun and games. But if the engine is not ready and it has pre-existing issues, that's a problem. Some guys report 
hypertension when they're taking Anabar pre-workout. The truth is, they're likely taking Winstrol. So that's another reason to make sure you're actually taking Anabar and you're not taking a mixture of other exotic oral compounds. When you mess up your kidneys, they rarely recover. Cystatin C is a key biomarker to make sure you're on top of when you're doing Anavar. If your lipids are over the reference range and the diet is a bit shabby, abusing Anavar and other anabolics, it can push you into an unsafe area. This is going to halt the cycle, doing more harm than good. However, the poison is in the dosage. Everyone out there has their own unique chemistry protocols and the additional supplements that they potentially need. Asking for a specific dose will come from the blood work. But anyway, I know people are looking for numbers, so I personally like to start off with five milligrams pre-workout. And I do this in intermittent windows on selected muscle groups a few times a week in the beginning. Once I've assessed my tolerance and things are good, I move up to 10 milligrams, reaching a maximum of 25 milligrams per workout. That's my limit. And from this, for me personally, things seem to play out very well with no damage to my health. But we know everyone is different, so that might not be your dose. This is a much safer protocol than doing a 10-week everyday burst of this shit, as that is potentially stressing the body out very early on in the cycle for weeks on end unnecessarily. And too much Anavar, too soon in a cycle, will actually have a negative impact on your workouts if you're doing it sublingually. Uncomfortable pumps, muscle cramps, annoying post-workout twitches in your arms and even your eyelids. And of course, the hormone levels, as mentioned, can be messed up from this, and it depends what other you're on. So now the necessary safety precautions are in place and the safe cycle police are no longer on our tail. It is time to unlock Anavar's full potential. Next stop, the gym. You saw me take this stuff 30 minutes before, so I'm amped up at this point and I'm ready to roll. The Anavar does give me glycogen storage in the muscle cells, while simultaneously it has a diuretic effect. So it will remove excess fluid that's situated on the outside of the muscles and instead shuttle it inside the contractile cells. With this, we get a huge IGF-1 spike. So as I'm getting pumped, all that stored glycogen and protein will stimulate the area igniting a synchronized display of muscle activation and expansion which is the perfect storm for gains not many people know that anavar does have a unique ability to shuttle atp which is an essential molecule for energy inside the muscle cells which did lead me to have a disproportionate amount of strength increase for the session. That is relative to my normal workouts where I'm just using the base profile of injectables and at the moment I'm on test NPP and Primo. The strength increase is not monstrous like d bowl or Anadrol. It's closer to t bowl because it does boost endurance. It really does create a full and pumped look rather than just looking very flat and depleted. And nearing my final sets, I was looking and feeling dice to the socks. At the end of my session, I'm drinking my protein, dextrose and creatine, going for a walk on the treadmill, and just thinking about how many times I can check myself out in the mirror before things just start to get weird. Overall, taking Anavar orally does result in a longer half-life of the drug versus sublingually. So there's more stress on our organs and you get a less impactful workout in the gym. Not exactly the recipe for turbocharging our gains, is it? In any case, this is not a side effect free drug. It is very addictive when you do it pre-workout. And if that's in a poorly planned cycle, things can be highly problematic. Maybe you're out there considering some type of help and guidance so you don't mess yourself up on this stuff. If that is the case, you can reach out. There's a link below this video. You hit that link and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. We've got another video coming up now, so I'll see you very shortly. It's been a pleasure assisting you today. Dr. James, I'm out.